Hey guys, how's it going? I'm DK. I'm Rizzo. And I'm Zero. And today in Anime Reaction, watch the ninth episode of Megalobox. All right. Gearless Joe taking on uh, Bastard Child of the Stark family. And anyway. I'm not talking to Arno for once. Three, two, one. Let's, let's jam. jam. Back to the press conference. Oh. In the middle of the match? In media res? That's okay. Round two. He already has a target on his face. Oh dear, oh dear me. Damn, such minimal movement to slip. Money in the bank. Oh man. Picking him apart at will. Faint. Not that it helped, but damn. Hmm. We dialed it in. Nice. As an amateur roboticist, I can appreciate that. So what, did he make one specifically for Joe? Something like that, I'd imagine. Because before it said, you know, it read the movements of gears. But perhaps it, it took up a little, like, basic kinesiology and tried to get the sensors to read muscle movement. Whereas before it read electrical signals from the gear. Right. It's actually really impressive hmm. when, you, when you stop and think about it. Yeah, because the match was pretty much announced, like, what, a couple days before. So he didn't have a whole lot of time, I'd imagine, to, like, well, okay. Maybe, perhaps, he envisioned him fighting Joe someday, but his attitude leading up to this, I think, suggests otherwise. So assuming that, he had very little time to switch from... A sensor system that detects electric, you know, electricity, to perhaps like a visual infrared or maybe an ultrasound, ultrasonic system that detects muscle movement or gestures or something like that, and fully implement it and get it dialed in to give Ace the right movement to well, do what he's doing to Joe right now. Oh, not that Jonathan has a brand new model from scratch. But I say, just the retrofit alone would have taken months. Hmm. Ooh, nice transition. Calculating, punching, punching. Get wrecked, noob. I also like the little LED thing there. 
Ooh. Oh, what? He's taking a foul. Well, that obvious trip right there, he didn't take a foul. I find it absolutely hilarious that he was like, you and your little bag of tricks. Mm. Oh. oh, damn. And also, I like it that in the future, they still use old school shit like a bucket and an end swell. For those who don't know, that little metal thing that the kid's holding, you put a block of ice in there and you use it to uh, cool down swelling around the skin, particularly around the eyes when they get beat up. Damn! Well, like three fucking supercomputers in my corner. <laughs> hey, be nice to your pit crew. Right. So basically, a guy piloting a machine that humans aren't meant to pilot. Okay, Zex. Hmm. Hundred percent. Oh man. Interesting, actually. It just like just kind of suddenly powers down. It doesn't go with the cliche like explosion or catastrophic failure. Them steroids can't get enough. Hmm. Aw, oh, he made a banner and everything. Ow. Freaking felt that hook. Um, fraud who bluffed his way. I think he needs to be. I think he's talking about himself there. <laughs> oh, he's talking smack. Um, you're supposed to try and slip punches, Joe. That's the point of rope a dope. Ooh, out of the ring. Oof. Actually, you don't. Because you're using a computer to do your fighting for you.
<laughs> oh, and he still smirks. Hmm. Yay! Another flashback. She does have that booty, though. Oh, igno. Also that reach. Zerk button pressed. Berserker. Pops has seen this episode of Evangelion before. And again, no no foul, right? I mean, that was obviously a clinch, and that obviously wasn't a punch. Thank you. Oh, both we got a foul. Okay. <laughs> And how's that been going so far? Exactly that. Oh, what? <laughs> oh. 
polish to the nth degree. <laughs> I'm gonna fool his machine, I'm gonna slip his punch, and I'm gonna counter punch him for the knockout. All in one fell swoop. Damn. That is confidence right there. shot. Oh. <laughs> 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 I know that feel. Oh, judge jabs. Damn. Yeah, it really isn't going for the attack. Oh, bring out the cat budget animation. Oh. That was a weird thing to get budget. I know. <laughs> but that movement, though. Olay. Why did the ring suddenly get like 300 yards long? That's sports anime for you. Nope. Whoo! Boom! Pow! Right in the kisser! Glass jaw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Synchronized fist pumping for the win. <laughs> Love it. Oh, that would have been funny if that knocked him out. <laughs> <laughs> 
creepy. <laughs> Man, stare down though. <laughs> He's getting excited. Uh, it's back to the lab again, yo. But first, let's ride. Well, I still have my sick bank account and the awesome sports car. Let's go pick up some, some chicks. I need something to rub the pain away. Hey, turn up. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh, really? <laughs> uh, I had a very funny um, description of combat sports in general. It was from an MMA fighter named uh, Jason Mayhem Miller on when he fought uh, George St. Pierre. He lost by just his decision, but all the aches and pains, he compared it to getting a really bad lap dance. <laughs> <laughs> Funny anecdote. About what, Pops? Ooh. Okay, plot twist. What's up? Okay, what the hell? Some other dealing going on. Hmm. Just how much shitty shit is Nambu in on? They made it to Megalonia. What the hell? I don't know. It could be like something similar to what they were doing before and trying to, uh, Maybe that's a yeah. Fix fix the next match and make make Joe lose. Yeah, a lot ready. of interest to have Joe lose at Megalonia. Mm. Well, they'll, they'll probably rake in a lot of money if he. Oh yeah, I mean, was a fight. Even just him being in it, I mean, they're still making probably a shit ton more money than they would on their underground fights. I mean, this is jeez. In this world, Megalonia is like the Super Bowl and the World Cup put together. So you can imagine what the betting action be on that. I mean, for like a pay-per-view, like say WBC or WBA championship fight, you still got fighters raking in like almost hundreds of millions of dollars. And that's just from like gating pay-per-view money. So this is, I'd imagine, bigger than that. So, hmm. the die is cast. Well, we've crossed the Rubicon. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> damn though. What's the shot? He just barely gets tagged and then just oomph. Just sheer <clears throat> grit. <laughs> Street Fighter KO, that's that's good stuff. Wait, who sent that? Mouse. Okay, mouse. Two mouse. Thanks for the gift, mouse. Good stuff. And you, do we have to really start off the chat with, uh, yeah, with slightly perverted drunk dad over there? Bruh. I don't know, like. Anyone. 
th this match kind of ticked me off a little bit because I feel like um, Shirado is cheating. Yeah, no, like I straight up just feel that Shirado's cheating. Like if you're going to use an AI to fight for you hmm. in, in a sport where nobody else is doing it, that, that, that just... Like, well, it's not ne not necessarily cheating because it's not against the rules per se. That's the thing. But I the mean, rules ought to be changed. Uh, again, kind of coming from my uh, robotics background, there, um, so particularly in robot combat, it's kind of a point of pride if you push the boundaries of the rules so badly that the next go around they make a rule against it. And I think that's what uh, Shirado's done with Ace. So probably if there's a second Megalonia, I'd imagine that they would rule out AI. Or maybe even integrated body stuff like the Yuri has or something. Well this is kind of the first time they're going with it, so they're you know, they're seeking any advantage they can get their hands on. Uh, right. Same uh, also what goes uh, holds true in auto racing. So like say uh, when steel roll cages became mandatory in NASCAR, a lot of teams would just like kind of fake it, like paint over some pieces of wood because it's lighter thought roll cars or roll cages were kind of sissy so same kind of reasoning going there so basically any sport that involves some sort of engineering aspect people are going to actually want to that's well that's not even necessarily true uh it's pretty much any any sport really yeah if you enough. can if you can find a way to mm. um get the get the edge any advantage whatsoever well, what's, what's the old maxim? Oh, yeah. so, so, so here's one that, that I remember from fairly recently with uh, the NFL. Mm -hmm. So there was a rule instituted after the, what was it, the 2015 season? Hmm. When, when the Broncos <laughs> won the Super Bowl last. Um, it was instituted so that if a quarterback falls down on his own, he can't get back up and throw a pass. Hmm. And that was instituted because there was like, I don't know, two or three times that Peyton Manning did it in the playoffs. Where like he fell down on his own when a pass rusher was coming at him, but the guy didn't touch him. Mm -hmm. So he was able to get up and throw a pass to open receivers because the defenders thought he had gotten sacked. Right. And they changed the rule after that. But, but in this case, I really feel like the dude's cheating. <laughs> Well, yeah, and I'm pretty sure again. I mean, if there were going to be, a, if there was going to be a second Megalonia, then Ace would be banned from that. Yeah. You know. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I mean, at that point, you got to look at it from the perspective of what's going to be most entertaining for fans. Right. Like. Oh. People getting the you know, if two people them. have AI gears and they just, you know, keep, you know, learning the other's moves. And it's just going to be nothing but... It's going to resemble a DBZ fight eventually. A lot of right. slip punches. Yeah. Nothing really hitting. Pretty much. And it's just going to be a shit ton of matches that go to judges' decision. Mm. And how are the judges... <laughs> well, well, actually, they can't the because format, yeah. the, in this format, it's limitless rounds. Yeah, it's going until someone's knocked out. So it basically be going until somebody drops from exhaustion, right? Man, how boring is that? People want that knockout punch. Whereas the uh, the stuff that Yuri has, it's integrated into his body, so he can he counteracts that that lag. Yeah, I mean the whole purpose of the Megalo gear is to enhance the body's movement. So therefore, Yuri's gear I think is more in line with the spirit of the sport. Right. Here we go. Because it still has a human aspect. Yeah. I, I'm still actually surprised that Joe still hasn't caught in a gear yet. Is he really going to get all the way to the final fight with Yuri without a fucking gear? Because damn. I thought it would have been like a condition for him to get into Megalonia or something like that. A while ago. Well, I mean... Well, what's her face kept keep saying you can't we you know you you have to have a gear in megalonia right so yeah i mean it, it's possible that we, he might get a gear yeah i mean even if it's like say um 
Yukiko would just give him like an old piece of crap. You know? It's like, here, get in there. They fully expect him to lose, but then, you know, that powers him up. With his already considerable skill and toughness and shit. Who would dare sponsor him? I'm surprised no one has, Mouse. I mean, right. considering how many victories, how many high-profile victories he has strung up to this point without a gear. I mean, just look at the sheer potential on display. Ice. Yeah, there was... If I ran a company that even rivaled Shirado, I'd pick, you know I'd put him in my stable in a heartbeat. <laughs> you can do this much without a gear. We'll make you the best damn gear you can get. Let's see what you can do. You would eat Yuri alive. Well, yeah, you know, that kind of mentality. Yeah, I, I, I kind of would expect um, Shirado's biggest like uh, you know competitor to mm -hmm. be sponsoring him. Yeah. But oh man, what once again though. And you gotta address the elephant in the room. The dream is in danger because of some unforeseen deal with uh, with Pops and the gangsta gangsta chef. <laughs> yeah, no. my my guess is that the gangster is gonna want him to throw a fight. Probably because of all the money he'll rake in. Oh yeah. But I mean, Joe's like an underground hero. Everyone from you know the speakeasies and everything, they're pulling for him. Right. I mean, how much, and I mean, why throw the first fight at Megalonia? We can get him a couple fights, get him to the finals and maybe do it then. He can bring in twice the money. He probably doesn't expect him to get to the finals. Fair enough. Well, uh, yeah. So it's like, so it's Yuri, well now Joe, then like Glenn Burroughs, big uh, guy, and then one another fighter called Pepe the Spider, I think. There in Megalonia. So let's find one of those two next. Pepe Iglesias. Was that his name? I know his first name is Pepe. I know there was a Pepe in there. I, I remember there was an Iglesias in there. I don't remember if they were the same person. <laughs> <laughs> Pepe Bl Burrows, the bloody spider. <laughs> that would be a weird fusion. Big ol', I can only assume, sort of English guy. Kind of looking like Fat Bastard from the Austin awesome Powers flicks. <laughs> and, you know, a little lanky, you know, a Latino dude. Damn. Okay. Anyway. But, yeah, so, I mean, there's... I... I hmm. There's, what, three up? No. This was, like, nine, Yeah, this right? was nine, so, so yeah. Three episodes left? Yeah. 10, 11, 12? Uh, Four episodes left? The moon has been dyed red from all the blood that's been flying into this anime. Not to mention the tooth. God, nice. that was... Not, very simple scene. Just focus in on the bottom of a bucket and then a tooth falls in it. <laughs> kind of says, says it all about how that round went. Pretty much, yeah. But anyway, so... Let us know what you thought of the anime, what you thought of our reaction in the comment section below. Yep, thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification button. And if you're interested in joining a Discord, look for it in the description below. And because, like Joe, our channel's not dead yet, consider going to patreon.com slash otakusaga and donating. But that's going to do it for this episode of Anime Reaction. As always, I'm DK. I'm Zero. And I'm Rizzo. See, See you next time. time.